So Priest Lake, is it better than Coeur d'Alene? There are two state parks along this lake and we are going to let you know which one is the better one. And which one which, has the best beaches? Which one has the better beach? And... A really cool spot if you have a, a really four-wheel cool drive spot. truck. And you're brave. And are really brave. And adventurous. And <laughs> want to just do something a little crazy. We're going to tell you about that as well. And But here's some pictures to kind of give you a, an idea of what it might look like when you visit Priest Lake. Okay, so Priest Lake State Park is in the northern panhandle of Idaho, right on the very top. It's about, it's about 60 minutes to the border. And so, way up there, and so we came... 60 minutes to the border of Canada? 60 minutes to the border of Canada. So it is, so apparently they call Priest Lake the crown jewel of Idaho, and we were impressed we definitely thought it was beautiful and uh, yeah it was really cool we didn't plan on going there at all and so we were pleasantly surprised when we got there yeah yeah so we drove along the east side of the road up to Priest Lake um, it was a skinny road but it was paved um, and so a beautiful beautiful uh, drive yeah, along the lake once you hit the, bay the lake right there oh my goodness the views are spectacular yeah. and we have a couple of pictures that you guys saw prior yeah. So it, I will say that Priest Lake area is definitely more secluded, more just surrounded by lots of forest. It's not going to be your typical like tourist town. No, that's why, I mean, we honestly, we went to Coeur d'Alene a couple of days ago and honestly our experience at Priest Lake was way better than Coeur d'Alene. If you're going to Coeur d'Alene for the lake, that is, yeah, like the actual beach is there, Priest Lake like way, way, way yeah. Well, if you're more into being out in the forest and nature, I mean, Priest not Lake, a crowded, yeah. not a crowded kind of like touristy vacation type town, uh, Priest Lake was, was the place uh, for us. So we were yeah. glad that we, we made our way up there. So we, we came for Coeur d'Alene and then we kind of headed up north uh, and then we, I saw Priest Lake on the map and we decided to hit it and we were very happy with that. Um, There's two state parks like within Priest Lake. Yes. And what are their names there? So there's two. There's one uh, that's towards this, the middle of the lake. That one's called uh, Indian Creek State Park. And then the, the one on the northern top of the lake is called Lionhead State Park. Um, they're Lionhead? very different. Yeah. Lionhead. Very different. So, tell, so we went to Lionhead first. So go ahead and tell them about Lionhead. So Lionhead it has the most beautiful beach. Like the sand is perfect, there's no rocks, it has a, a dock, you can go jump off the dock. We had so much fun doing so that, but just so beautiful, like the yeah. beach there is beautiful. Yeah. It's white sand too, it's not like a like a mucky, muddy clay sand, yeah. it's, it's white it's good beautiful beach sand. sand. Yeah, yeah beautiful. really good beach sand. So you do have to, you, do, you drive through the state park, it's, um, they do have an 18 foot limit. Um, if you're so, gonna take an RV, so you're there. basically taking like a camper, like a like a pop up uh, tent trailer. If you're gonna try to camp there, or you're just staying in a tent, so you're not you're not taking an RV uh, or you know your motorhome in there. It's just not for that. Um, but so, if you do want a tent it there, oh my goodness, the spots for tents there were like right on the beach, like yeah. literally right on that beautiful beach. So 
So people, yeah, people are tenting it and just walking right out to the water. Um, really cool. So that is Lionhead Campground. Uh, kids, our kids absolutely love that. I got lots of pictures of that. Kids jumping off the the dock and and so forth. We were sad when we had to we when we had to leave. So um, if you have a bigger rig and you want to stay somewhere, the next one was like way better for bigger rigs. Yeah. So it all it is five dollars for a day pass there. So if you're not camping there, it's just five dollars. Um, and then at and you can get into both of the parks both for of the, the five dollars. And so I think the first, so it was uh, Lionhead. They had the, they had the toilets, you know, not plumbed toilets, but they had the toilets there um, as well. So, but the other park, the Indian Creek, was totally different. Uh, it was definitely more modernized, right? The, the roads yeah. were wider. Uh, they had two dump stations for RVs as soon as you drive in. There's a yeah, they have like a little grocery store there and a gas, a gas station. station. Yeah, so yeah. if you have toys and you are boot and no like, diesel, I didn't see diesel. Yeah, but. but if you have a four wheeler or something like that, they have gas for them right there. Mm -hmm. And um, these spots were they all had most of them looked like had full hookups as well. Like yeah, a lot of them had uh, full your full hookups for your RV, so it was totally different. And we asked you could fit a 41 foot fifth wheel in there they had spaces big enough for that and mm -hmm. they just they didn't make sure you reserve ahead of time yeah and that's all online looks like so you reserve that online so as far as the beach goes we like the beach as well um, the beach but, was rocky like well they had little pebbles instead of like soft sand on this beach so my kids yeah. didn't love it as much as the other one but it did have a playground yeah right next to the water which they did like so what I would do, if I was going to go to Priest Lake again, and I was going to take my RV or my motorhome, I would stay at Indian Creek, and then when I wanted a nice beach day, I would drive up to Lionhead and do the beach day there. It's less people there, um, yeah. beach is better, and like she said with the Indian Creek, there was rocks. Um, there wasn't like rocks in the sand, but like when you stepped in the water, there was lots of pebbles, and so it kind of hurt your feet. Yeah. Kind of ruined it a little bit. Yeah, but there was a, there's docks there too. If you have a boat, you can pull your boat right up there. It was it was really pretty too. Yeah, Honestly, gorgeous. Honestly, both were beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, so I think that would be exactly what I would do again. I'm gonna, so we're gonna we're gonna beach it. We're gonna spend all day long. In fact, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> we're gonna go to Priest Lake and we're gonna go to Lionhead and spend all day long jumping off that dock. Um, now, if you're brave, this was actually what got us to go to Priest Lake. <laughs> so this is why we originally went up there. I saw a video of this thing called uh, rock slides. And so it's just a natural rock slide. It so looks super cool. I think I'm still going to talk him into doing it tomorrow. <laughs> so it's natural rock slide. You, you, you drive up to a certain point, you get out, and then you have to hike a mile to get to the top. And then you, you put on these garbage bags so you slide a little bit better, and then you slide down, down the mountain. Um, and so apparently it's pretty popular, but it turns out that um, the city um, is discouraging people from going up there. And how are they doing it? <laughs> they have like huge speed bumps that they've made in the road. So we had our minivan and like they're big speed bumps. It was like... It was, yeah, big speed bumps. They were like, you're going to get high centered on them practically if you're driving a car or a minivan like we were. Yeah, I really wanted to go, and so I was. I went over lots of them, um, but it took a long time to go a mile. <laughs> yeah, and it's about a five-mile road up there. So if you even in a truck, it's going to take a while. Just so you know that, like you want, this is probably a like a pretty good part of your day activity. Yeah, yeah. Plan plan a good half of the day. Now, if you got a big four-wheel drive truck, you know, lots of ground clearance. I think you can get up there no problem. Yeah, for um, sure. We just uh, we have two cars, so we 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 usually travel in the van but unfortunately we did not make it up there but but we're gonna tomorrow but we're, we're <laughs> still talking you know. about it <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely and that's uh, so you would just uh it's called rock slides it, it'll pop up um i'll show you on the maps what that where that's at so you guys can find that if you want to do that as well yeah but uh final review is we absolutely loved priest lake in fact, I would love to have a lake house up there one day. There's so many around there. So many. Yeah, so beautiful. The lake houses, the lake, the yeah, the trees, everything. It was beautiful. Yep. So. so, if you're looking for a beautiful beach, 
And How's the Sunday thumbs up? Yeah, the Sunday thumbs up. <laughs> so definitely do it. If you know, if you want to forget Coeur d'Alene and go up to Priest Lake and stay. There is a Thousand Trails Park. If you're a Thousand Trails member, there's a Thousand Trails Park. It's a bit of a drive to get there, but it's uh, just under two hours. Um, but th that Thousand Trails Park is about an hour and 15 to Coeur d'Alene, an hour to Spokane. So it does work if you're a Thousand, thousand Trails member as well. So. Yeah, and we actually like the campground here a lot as well. Yeah, Thousand Trails uh, Park uh, here. What is it called? Little Diamond? Oh, Little Diamond. It's actually a pretty decent park. Yeah. So. yeah. No sewer hookups though. 